we took a look at AMD Sam when it launched in late 2020, so I thought it was high time to have a second look and see how the technology has matured. This is especially poignant as AMD has just launched its new mid-range graphics card, the Radeon RX 6700 XT. Sam stands for Smart Access Memory and it's a way of speeding up games when you combine a Radeon RX 6000 series GPU with a Ryzen 5000 series CPU. SAM works by opening up the bar, base address register, enabling the CPU to access all of the GPU's available RAM. When we tested SAM on the RX 6800 and 6800 XT cards last year, we found that it only boosted performance by, at best, 6% hardly anything to write home about. So to see if Sam has improved, we tried out an Asus RX 6700 XT Tough Gaming OC in one of our 3XS systems powered by Asus gaming PCs, which you can see the full spec of on screen now. We tested six different games, both with Sam enabled and disabled at two resolutions, 1920 by 1080 and 2560 by 1440 at the highest quality settings with all the eye candy dialed up to the max. It's worth mentioning here that in addition to a Radeon RX 6000 series GPU and Ryzen 5000 series CPU, there are a few other requirements to getting SAM working. First of all, you'll need an AMD X570 or B550 motherboard. So if you're using an older X470 or B450 motherboard, SAM isn't officially available, although some motherboard manufacturers have released BIOSes that enable SAM. The other requirements are a lot more straightforward. You'll need to be running the 64-bit version of Windows 10, the motherboard BIOS must be at least 1100 or newer, and you'll need to be running the AMD Radeon 2011 12 driver or newer. Finally, you need to dive into the BIOS and make sure that these two options are enabled, above 4G decoding and resized bar support. It's evident from this graph that SAM makes quite a big difference in many games at 1920 by 1080. For instance, Assassin's Creed Valhalla saw a massive speed up of 25% with SAM enabled, the sort of speed up you'd expect to see from buying a more expensive GPU, not a free boost from dabbling in the BIOS for a few minutes. Borderlands 3 also gained a lot from SAM, speeding up by 18%. The SAM speed up in the other games was less impressive, such as Dirt 5's 9%, Godfall's 10%, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider's 5%. Even so, who could say no to the extra performance? Unfortunately, though, Metro Exodus stubbornly refused to speed up with SAM enabled, which is what we found when we tested SAM on the RX 6800 and 6800 XT last year. More problematic was Gears Tactics, which actually ran 9% slower with SAM enabled. So if you're a big fan of this game, then it's best to leave SAM disabled for now. Upping the resolution to 2560 by 1440 showed a broadly similar pattern, although the speed up was on average a bit less at 1920 by 1080. For instance, Assassin's Creed Valhalla once again benefited from a massive speed up, this time of 23% with SAM enabled. Borderlands 3 also gained a lot from SAM, up by 15%, and in other games though, it was less impressive, such as Dirt 5's 3%, Godfall's 7%, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider's 5%. Still, any extra performance is always welcome. Once again, Metro Exodus didn't run faster with SAM enabled, whilst Gears Tactics slowed down again, this time by 6%. To be fair to Sam, what you're probably seeing here is the limit of the RX 6700 XT's capabilities. In other words, the faster communication between the CPU and GPU that Sam enables isn't as beneficial at 2560 by 1440 as it is at lower resolutions because the GPU is already maxed out. Our first impressions of AMD smart access memory was that it was an innovative technology, but the speed up that it provided of around 6% was a bit underwhelming. Just a few months on though, and SAM seems to have matured well, providing a far more substantial performance boost in many games. For example, at 1920 by 1080, the average speed up across the six games we tested was 11%. That's pretty incredible when all it costs is a few minutes changing two settings in the BIOS. 
Yes, there are still some issues, such as the worrying slowdown we saw in Gears Tactics, but this is the exception rather than the rule. All in all, Sam provides yet another reason to give serious consideration to the combination of Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards and Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. To find out more about both, you can check out the links below. Alternatively, you can take a look at our range of 3XS systems gaming PCs from our Powered by Asus range, which again, we've linked below for you.